and when its turbulent journey endeth, the river flows into the sea at peace now for all eternity. That was real nice, Hank. And most appropriate. Jean loved poetry, didn't she, Scott? We all know the risks of being an X-Man. Jean knew them well. I think this whole thing is sick. You're all acting like Jean's never coming back. But, Shogun... Maybe she's alive! Did you ever think of that? Let it out, baby. Let it out. I never knew how much I would. We all miss her, Scott. The question is, how will we move on without her? Cerebro has picked up a disturbance in Manhattan that appears to involve an unidentified group of mutants. I was thinking... I'm sorry, Professor. I can't go. Not now. Not ever again. I'm leaving the X-Men. you've suffered, Scott. Jean was dear to me as well. And we couldn't save her. We all did what we could, Scott. What's important now is that we carry on, so that Jean's great sacrifice won't have been in vain. To save a world full of prejudice, where humans hate us, is that it? Hate and fear are what we're fighting to overcome, you know that. A lot of things I thought I knew aren't so clear to me anymore. You are in pain, Scott. Perhaps worse than any of us can understand, but in time, this feeling will... Don't you get it? I'm sick of the responsibility! I'm sick of being den mother to a bunch of quibbling children! I can't do it anymore! Most of all, I'm sick of caring. I cared for Jean. Look where that got me. Here, Professor. I won't be needing these anymore. Scott, please! Die, mutant! Johnny, stop that. That's real and polite. Papa, I'm just playing good guys and mutants. Well, I'm sure that nice young man doesn't appreciate being called a mutant.